In today's video, I'll show you how to create this changing image on hover effect, where if you hover over this link, the image changes with the corresponding menu items. Also, if you click on this link, you'll be redirected to the respective page. This requires some code, but don't worry, you just have to copy and paste it into the HTML widget. We'll do this step by step and we won't be using any plugins for it. So let's begin. All right, to create the layout, I'll drag a new container. Then I'll adjust the height of the container to 100vh and set the row direction to horizontal. Now we have the full canvas to work with and I'll add one more container and set its height to 50vh. I'll duplicate this container using the navigator on the right side to have two identical containers side by side. Next, to create the menu, I'll drag the text editor widget and place it into the container. To make the effect work on the text, we need to add some custom code which you can find in the description below. Just copy it and paste it right into the text editor. Now let's edit the text on our left side. We've got six items called divs. I'll edit this one at a time, but just be a bit careful here, especially with these class and data image attributes. I'll only swap these name attributes with items like this. Once done, it should look something like this. Next, let's fill up our right container with some images that will show up once you hover over the text here. Just copy the second code snippet from the description and paste it in the text editor here. We are using six items, so let's duplicate one of these lines at the bottom. Once again, keep this class name the same across each line. Basically, doing this will link our text on the left with images on the right. And I'll also change this left attribute to six like this. Now comes the fun part, adding images. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. We'll head to my WordPress media library and copy the file URLs for images I've already uploaded. Then I'll carefully swap out the source attributes in the code on this text editor with my image links one after another. We'll follow the same order as from a text container, apples, oranges, grapes, and once done, it should look something like this. Also, don't forget to update this alt text here. It'll help your code keep track of what the image is and where it will be shown. Next, let me show you how to add links to the href attributes. This will help you link your menu items to the pages that you'll be redirected to once you click on them. For example, you can enter the links to your product pages. So I'll enter the link here and repeat the same steps for the remaining items. So I'm done. And this is how the text will load upon click. This goes for all the other clickable links as well. Also, in the text side code, I'll set this target attribute to underscore blank to ensure that each link open in a new tab when someone clicks on it. This will help us keep our menu interactive without redirecting people away from our site. Now, before adding the final GSAP code, I'll have to add a few important CSS classes. We've got to do this to make sure the effect works on the live website. So I'll click on the topmost container, scroll down, and paste the CSS code here. Then I'll go to advanced and add this CSS class. I'll change the CSS class for both text editors as well. As you can see, the images disappeared, but don't worry, we'll get the images back soon. I'll then give this parent container a CSS class name, in this case, menu. And our text section should pop up like this. Now, for the child container, I'll align and justify the layout so that our containers fit in the center. I'll also customize the image editor width to 100%. Lastly, I'll add a CSS class to the image container. So go here and set up a CSS class. Let's call it links. Let's preview the page. You can see the text hover is working and the links are also clickable. But as we hover across the text, the image on the right doesn't animate. 
So let's add the final part of the GSS code snippet. Next, I'll drag a blank container to my page and then place an HTML widget inside. Now paste the code here. Now all you need to do is swap the positions of your text and image containers. Then reverse the top parent container direction from right to left like this. So from here, I just change the background color. Once done, it should look something like this. Also, adjust the colors for our text on the left side. For this, we need to select the top container again. Click Advanced and scroll down to the custom CSS we added earlier. I'll change the default color to white. And then I'll set the hover color to this shade of pastel orange. And done. Now, we also need to fix the margins. So there is about equal space to the left of the text widget as there is to the right of the image one and adjust this space in between. Once all the style changes are done, it should look like this. Let's save it and preview our page. Okay, I don't know, but this pin effect kind of spoils the show for me and it looks really bad. So I'll head to the HTML GSAP code at the bottom of our page and from the left panel, set this value to zero. I'll preview it again. And yeah, it works perfectly. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.